Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Geneforge 5. Well, we took care of the high shafts we found in the abandoned farms over here, and we're almost to the forts on the far end here. The only things left are the mountain crossroad here and this thistle wood. I think, before we get to the forts, I mean, I think maybe we'll go take a look at this mountain crossroad. I mean, we may as well, we might find something we can do there. Why not? Alright, let's see here. This road passes through a thick forest at the base of the eastern mountain chain. Doesn't look like this area has ever been heavily settled, though you do see signs of frequent logging. You are on the safe side of two of the forts that keep the rebels on the other side of the mountains. Looking down the road, you can see that the Shapers have been trying to use their machinery to control these woods, with a little success. You can see that they have erected pacification pylons along the road, perhaps to perplex and slow down rogues so that soldiers can get rid of them. However, the machines have broken down. The rogues they caught are now wandering loose. If you can't find a way to reactivate the pylons, fighting your way through will be the only option. Well, I will see if I can... Ah, shit. I didn't mean to... Uh-oh. Searing Artila. Oh, boy. I wanted to try to... Oh, boy, this is going to be... Rougher than I'd hoped. Great. Slowed. And now the Artila. Ow. This could have gone better. Ow. Ow. You know what? Let's see if we can draw them back a bit. Right to there. There we go. Aha! And... Ooh, resistant. Not to that, though. Searing lightning, though, they are. And, oh, God damn it! I need to fight them there. Uh, you know, uh, I gotta run in. I can't kill them otherwise. Alright, so we gotta do what we can to this one, then. It's not easy to sneak by. Come on, hopefully that one dies. There we go, perfect. Hey, we leveled up! Okay, okay. We've cleared out an area so that we can stay- Oh, god damn it! Alright, kill that. Ooh. Uh-oh. It's resistant to the attack. resistant to damage. Okay, my creations are not good against blocks. <coughs> oh, it's dead, though. So there's that, at least. Okay, so... I see something we can do over there. Oh, god damn it! Really? <sighs> well, at least we can clear out an area that we can stop in. And my glocks are not very effective against other glocks. Uh. You know what? Go stab that. Thank you. There we are. Come on, come on. Finish that off. There you go. You get in close. Fight him. There we go. Okay. Well, at least we got some stuff here. Okay! Now, I see something over there. With glocks and other creations. If we can get in there... Though it looks like we're gonna have to kill these. Fine. Oh, I'm still slowed? God damn it. Well, it took heavy damage, at least. Are any of the creations coming for us? They are not. Good. Okay, you guys stay behind. I'm going to see what I can find in there. Maybe a way to do something about this. Aha! There's a power spiral here. It seems to have been hooked up to send a constant low flow of power into the crystal conduits here. The conduits then snake through the grass and disappear into the dirt. For some reason, no power is coming out. The conduits are dark. I'll turn it on! 
You get on your knees in the dirt, open the base of the power spiral, and try to determine why the power flow stopped. You pull out a few sections of wire and reconnect them. You push the gears with your finger to make sure they aren't stuck. You find that the parts are generally damp and dirty. A bit of care and cleaning gets them running again. The problem, you suspect, is that delicate machinery like this is not meant to be stuck out in the, el out in the elements for too long. Without constant maintenance, all of this stuff will just break down again. Excellent! Uh-oh. I'll cover it in that. Although it should have calmed down some of these creations. Alright, let's kill this. Come on! Really hate the slowing. Yeah, these creations are not very good against locks. There we go. Okay. That should have calmed down some of these creations. Which is exactly what we needed. Five? No. Oh, right! We leveled up! Hmm. Well, you know what? What the hell? Strength to ten. There. Next time I'll do leadership or mechanics. Yeah, I'm not gonna use five living tools right now. Ah, another one that... Well, yeah, probably not necessary, but... Turn on the power. Okay. Well, at the very least, we've turned on the power to these two areas, so they should have those creations calmed down. Or at least I can get to them with minimal muss and fuss, I think. Yeah, I should be able to get to them with minimal muss and fuss. Yeah, and then we can kill them. <laughs> come on, come on, we can get these. There we go. Okay, that's all the ones around that one that are dead. Oh boy. I see how we get through here. All hostile creatures near it will be pacified. They will only attack you if you get very close to them. Right. Sure, use a living tool on that one. This was a workshop for maintaining the pylons. Nobody has been in here for weeks. Ooh, steel spine. Nice. Uh... Couple iron bars that we don't need. I can take those thorns, I think. Hold on a sec, there's... Sorry about that. Uh, right. Oh, also a heal there. Okay. Anything back here? These are the remain. There are the remains of a pylon here. Someone was cannibalizing it for parts. Then this camp was abandoned. Hmm. I suppose I can understand that a bit. Let's see. What does this sign say? Pericalia West, Fort Vengeance North, Fort Rockfall to the east. And to the south is... Oh, that leads to the Thistlewood. Okay. Now, something tells me if we stick back here, we should be able to turn everything on. Yes, we can turn this one on. Turn on the power. There we go. That calmed down a lot of creations. See what others we can calm down. I actually wonder if that lever... Hmm... I wonder what that lever will allow us to reach. Oh, well, we've calmed down a lot of creations and such. Question is, how many more? We'll probably still kill them, though. I mean, we can. Ah, hello! Sure, use a living tool. That'll allow us to calm down even more. Oh, this is... Three living tools for that one. Interesting. All right. Turn on the power. Turn on the power. Turn on the power. And that is another way out. Which I don't think we really need to open right now. But we've turned on the power for a lot of areas. So we should be able to get through here relatively easily. Uh, you know what? Use three living tools, sure. Well, let's see what's in here. Huh. Interesting. If 
Focus on me! Oh dear, I'm covered in acid. Ah ha ha! Ow. Okay, that one's dead. Ah, miss. Oh dear. Uh, one of those. Finish that off at least. Come on, kill that. Ah ha ha! Ah ha ha! Sh son of a crap, shuriken! Well, great. And so there's a canister back here and pure quicksilver. Okay, that is a very good item that we definitely should have. What are these anyway? Oh, thorns. Yeah. God damn it. Sure can. Alright, what is up here? Nests. Just a couple nests. With coins, living tool, and a pod. And in this one, coins and spores. Oh, nice. And what is in here? Uh, I never cured the acid. Well, I feel like an idiot. Let me try this again. Okay, there we go. That's all those creations dead and killed and over with. And we take the things out of here that are very useful and... Okay, a bit rough, but we got it all done. Now that that's all done, let's start by taking a look at what's up in here. Sure, use a living tool. I don't mind. Could be something interesting in here. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that just led around those. And that leads north into... Fort Vengeance. Oh, hey! The pass is clear. Okay, now we can kill the rest of these guys. Easily. Should be easily, anyway. Kind of annoying how resistant they are to magic, but that's the benefit of Glachs. You know, if I had a, uh... Battle creation, it would probably be very useful against these. <laughs> ha! Oh, come on, really? Ha! Oh, Jesus. Come on. Jeez. Shuriken, you are not strong at all. Cannot take a hit, I mean. Right. Heal up, Shuriken, please. Thank you. More essence. Okay, I know I saw one run over there. There it is. You will die. Really? Another miss? You can do better than that. There we are. Now moving on. These annoying guys. Podlings. Their area slow is just really annoying. Wait for the slow to pass since I can. There we are. Now for the other one. Really? Another miss? Come on, King. You're better than that. There you go. Wait for the slow to pass. Come on. There you go. Okay, moving on to the next pylon here. A lot of creations around here, but we should be able to do something about them fairly easily. Ah, how about this one? Yeah, this one shouldn't be too hard. 
Then again, they can get pretty close to us without any worries. There you go. In fact, now go right for the Searing Artilla. Oi, no! Do not attack him! He cannot take a hit. I think that one's gonna attack now, though. So, yep. Alright, kill that, please. Aha! Yeah, that one's dead. Get back, get back! There we are! And in fact, something to assist in the combat. May not last forever, but it'll help. You know? Or it should, anyway. I figured it did more damage. At least that's what I thought. Yeah, you are not going to attack. Oh, you attacked. Okay. Aha! Assault Podling! You will die! There we are. Oh, two creations. Seriously? Come on. And now we are slowed. Well, one of them isn't, at least. Ah, covered in poison. Eh, he can resist it. It's fine. Ah! And finish that off! I said finish it off! There you go. Sorry about that, the phone was ringing. Okay, finish off this creation. Come on! You can do better than that, King! You're a bloody tank! You're, an il you're a lizard that shoots electric death! How can you do so poorly? You're better than that. Alright, alright. I'll cast to that, and let's see what's up in here, shall we? Let's see. There's a nest here. Infiltrator cloak. Plus two armor, plus one to leadership mechanics and stealth. You know what? <laughs> I like having all the boosts I can, so I'll take that instead of the Fiora skin cloak. That'll bring us up to 13 for leadership and mechanics. Excellent! Oh, how I love those... <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. You were surprised to find that not all of the creations in these woods are rogues. There is one lone battle alpha hiding in this crevice, trying to avoid the monsters and the pylons. It is very thin and ragged, and its skin is covered with scratches. It has been out in the woods unaccompanied for months. It is amazing that the creature hasn't gone rogue yet. A copper armband hangs loosely from its arm. A 17 is etched on it. When you get close, it says, no hurt, no hurt, hungry, cold. Where are you from? It stares at the wall, concentrating on the question. It doesn't respond. You aren't sure if it understood you or not. It's all right. Tell me, where are you from? Using your calmest, most reassuring voice, you get through to the creature. It says with difficulty, per per Pericalia. The lost battle alpha is still cowering in the corner. The ground is littered with the bones of the small animals it has been eating to stay alive. The armlet with the seventeen etched on it still hangs from its thin arm. Tell me about this area? It looks at you sadly, but it doesn't say anything. The creature is barely ver verbal. Warzana sent me to find you. The mention of Warzana's name causes the creature to look at you, though you aren't sure whether it is scared of going back or would leave to be rescued. Warzana! Pericalia! Home? Go home? You need to return to Pericalia. It takes some soothing and coaxing, but you are able to convince the creature to walk back to Pericalia. It is weak, but it should have enough strength to get there. Battle alphas are hardy creatures. With a final sad look, it walks off. Whether it survives the journey or not, you've, earned it, you've learned enough for Warzana's purposes. Yeah, I know, I stand for creation rights and the like, but it was a scared little creation. It probably would not have survived very long, so... Let's kill the rest of these rogues here. Finish him all off. We can do this. Ooh! He's helping! 
I did not expect that. Alright, another one here. Thank you for the assistance. Yes, thank you greatly for the assistance. We will make sure you survive to get through. <laughs> Alright. Do something for that one as well. I appreciate the assistance, Alpha. Ah. Don't worry, I'll make sure you survive. Okay, I can't reach that in time, so... At least cure the poison. Ah, come on, really? There we are. Still more creations over here. Glocks and the like. We'll do what we can, kill all that we can. Yeah, no matter. There we are. Hey, Shuriken leveled up! See, this is why I keep him alive. Oh boy. Don't worry. Yes, you can attack me, it's no big deal. Finish that off. There you go. Come on. Keep that guy alive. Should have cleared these creatures out first, but no matter. There. He'll probably die to the alpha. There you go. No big deal. Why couldn't I... Oh, I was stunned. Okay. No biggie. Uh, we got this. Stay there. Oi, keep him alive. You're resistant to it. You can attack that. He's running. He should, hopefully, be okay. I hope. Ah, thank you for the assistance. In fact, you know what? There, that'll make sure there's no more poison on you. And this should kill it. There we go. Perfect. I think it got away. Okay, well that's good. Uh, looks like there's a nest over here. With a couple items there. Oh, I might want to heal myself up. Uh, looks like that's just about everything though. The only other thing left here is in here. Let's see. Pod. That's the other side, we don't need to open that. Javelins, no need to do anything there, and all that leaves is the exit to the east here, which leads to where, I wonder? Leads to Fort Rockfall. Alright, we'll be going to the fort soon, though I think we might go to the Thistlewood next. For now, though, we gotta go back to Paracali and tell that guy about this. Let's see, he should be down here somewhere. Yeah, he's right over here in the corner. I found that battle alpha and it promised to return home to you. You tell the tale. Well, it never arrived. I think I have learned enough now to report it as lost in the field. Warzana pretends to be sad about the fate of the creature and is, and is clearly uninterested in learning further details. Very sad, very sad. I may not lend creations to that merchant in the future, but you did the best you could, and here is your reward. He offers you a small pouch of coins. And you know what? I'd like to rent a creation. Um, 300 coins? Sure, I'll take a battle alpha, why not? Then makes a note in his records. Then he writes a number on a slip of paper and hands it to you. There is an alpha for you in the pen outside. It will have that number on his bracelet. Command it and it will obey. Alright. A battle alpha for assistance. Gladly. Hopefully it follows us. Uh, You inspect one of the unfortunate creations in these pens. It is a tired, hungry creature. You note that it bears a copper band with an identification number. When you get close, it does not react. It is miserable, but it's also in complete control. No chance of it going rogue. Ah! There is a battle alpha sitting by the fence. It is not currently in fine fighting shape. 
It is hungry, its fur is matted and dirty, and in some places its skin shows some flattened whip marks. It has a copper bracelet around its upper arm, which bears an identification number. It is a sad and listless creature. However, it is still young and strong. You suspect that, with proper care and encouragement, this alpha could be a terror in battle once again. Get it to come with you. Your leadership qualities are sufficiently inspiring. You give it your first command. The alpha gets up off the bench and stands at your side. Alright. Well, it's got high endurance, though the rest isn't the best. Still, it should be able to help a bit in combat and the like. And... There's our Nartila curled up in the back of this pen. It is not currently in fine fighting shape. Its skin is dry and faded, and it barely notices your approach. Its mouth fails to properly drip with copious amounts of acidic saliva. It has a copper bracelet around the end of its tail, which bears an identification number. You, it is a sad and listless creature. However, it is still young and strong. You suspect that with proper care and encouragement, this Nartila could rain acid upon its foes once again. I could get it to leave... M to, uh, follow me, but, uh... Yeah. Not gonna force it to. And you know what? Uh, let's see. Change party order up. Up. And... Down. There we go. That way we got the three me We got the three melee guys up in front. And the support in the back. This should be good. I don't need to return the battle alpha. Uh, we're fine with it. But we're good as we are. Now, I just got some things to sell and some things to deposit. And then I'll be back because everything will be done. Alright, that's done and taken care of. And I've been slowly moving my uh, storage of various important items over to here. So, yeah, there's that being worked on and taken care of. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was something in here. Pure Quicksilver or Solidified Flame. Yeah, I don't have the uh, Solidified Flame, but I have the Pure Quicksilver. So, yeah, that'll be something I need to keep my eyes open for so I can make some sort of gloves. Either way, next episode, I think we'll take a look at the area just southwest of the forts, because I think that might be where Benhold is. We'll take a look soon. Till then, I am Chester44, that is E-King, Shuriken, and... A servant alpha who I can actually rename. Huh. Hmm. Well, I am going to uh, keep my eyes open for you guys. I'm going to need to think about this to think about who I'm going to name it after. So, uh, this might be a few episodes that'll just be a servant alpha. Hopefully, he won't be na Hopefully, he won't die nameless. But uh, yeah. I'll keep an eye open for you guys, so keep commenting and stuff like that, and maybe you'll get named. After all, I can't name a person if, you, if I don't know you watch, but don't ask specifically to be named it, otherwise I'm definitely not going to name it after you. So, yeah, I'll have to know. So, yeah, that's E, King, Shuriken, and as yet unnamed Alpha. This has been a Gene Forge 5 Let's Play, and I will see you all next time.